Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Dev Town. I hope that you guys are enjoying this amazing series of the Python. And topic for our today video is tuples. So now coming to the very basic questions, very basic point like what are tuples and what are the uses of tuples? So tuples are used to store multiple items in a single variables. So as we have talked earlier about the variables. So tuples are used to store multiple items in a single variable and tuples are written with a round bracket as shown up below. Okay. So for an example, like I have created a variable fruit in which I have apple. Okay. So now guys, what do you think that this is a tuple or this is something else? Okay. So now let's just print the type of a let us check okay see guys you can see that it is showing us as a string so why this is happening because there is a very basic rule in tuple like after this putting your elements in the tuple you have to always place a comma at the end so if again i have done this code see guys now it is showing as a tuple. So this comma is mandatory. Okay guys. And now coming to one another thing. Suppose I have created a variable and I have not used that round bracket and I have just simply put the element in this form. So now what do you think? Like what is this? Okay guys. So you will be shocked to know that this will be also treated as a tuple. Okay. For an example, if I print a, see guys. I'm getting this round bracket. Okay. So if you also don't put the round bracket, it will be treated as a tuple. Now let us see some inbuilt functions of the tuple. For an example, I have taken a variable T in which I have the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So now suppose I have to see the length of the tuple. So how I'm going to do that is just simply type the print which is like similar in all the thing and the syntax is length okay you have to type len and in the bracket the name of the tuple okay so we are using t see guys now i'm getting the output 5 okay so this is how you calculate the length of the tuple and now move to the another part so there is a, a function in the tuple which will tell you the maximum element in the tuple okay for an example like we have this uh, tuple t so just simply print okay and the max okay guys i hope this thing is very much clear to you i just simply type shift plus there see guys now it is showing us 5. So why it is giving us an input 5? Because 5, 5 is the highest number in this. So it will show us the maximum element. Okay guys, I hope that things, thing is very much clear to you. And now coming to the next part, there is also one minimum function in the tuple which will tell you the minimum element of your tuple. For an example, just simply type print minimum and the name of the tuple. See guys, now it is showing us the output 1 because 1 is the minimum among these. Okay. And now coming to the sum function in the tuple. Okay. So you can also do the sum of all the elements in the tuple by this function. So the syntax is simple print. Okay guys, print sum and the name of the tuple see guys it is showing us the answer 15 which is the sum of all these five okay i hope that thing is very much clear it is very easy thing guys okay and now coming to the next part suppose guys you have to see the index position of any element for an example i have to see the index position of four so how i'm gonna do this so you just have to simply print and use this syntax the name of the tuple like for an example we have t here t 
dot index and the element which index we want to see suppose i want to see the index of the element 4 so just simply 4 and see guys after executing we are getting 3 so it is at the 3 place so 0 as you know indexing i have told you yesterday so 0 1 2 3 guys so that's why it is showing the answer 3 okay guys now i want to count like how many times a particular element is present in a tuple like for an example let me add some element like i have added two one more time and three also like again two so suppose i have to count the occurring of two so how i am gonna do that let me show you guys so guys syntax is very much simple of it just simple start with the print as usual the name of the uh, tuple in which you want to execute t and dot count okay guys i hope that things thing is very much clear to you and the element which occurrence you want to count suppose i want to see that how many times the 2 is present in it i will just simply enter the 2 shift plus enter see guys i am getting the output 3 so let me count it 1 2 and 3 guys okay so i hope that this thing is very much clear to you guys and i hope that you will like this video and please subscribe to our channel depth down Oh,